In Commitment 2020, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar is suspending her campaign for president. She says she's planning to endorse former Vice President Joe Biden tonight at his rally in Dallas. Klobuchar is the second presidential candidate to exit the race in less than 24 hours. Pete Buttigieg ended his campaign last night and Tom Steyer dropped out on Saturday. Now the Klobuchar announcement comes less than 24 hours before Super Tuesday. North Carolina will be one of 14 states casting ballots for their respected primaries. And as candidates make their final pitches to voters, President Donald Trump is holding a Keep America Great rally tonight in Charlotte. We begin with team coverage of it all. Brandon Bates outside of Bojangles Coliseum mm -hmm. talking with supporters. But first, let's check in with Bill O'Neill inside the venue. Bill. We're inside the Bojangles Coliseum here in Charlotte, home of the Charlotte Checkers, the hockey team. And I can tell you there's a huge crowd turning out here for the president, as is usual. He has been holding rallies just prior to the primary votes that have been happening, such as in South Carolina this weekend. And now he's getting ready for Super Tuesday tomorrow here in North Carolina. The president should be leaving the White House, according to his itinerary, in a few minutes from now, about 410. He is expected to speak here at 7 o'clock tonight. And I tell you, this thing is getting awfully interesting because the Democrats, as you notice today, their numbers are dwindling. I think the race is becoming much more focused. We'll soon know, perhaps not too much longer, who will be taking on President Trump in the upcoming election. What can the folks here expect to hear from the president tonight? No doubt plenty of politics, but I know a number of people here want to know the latest, the update on the coronavirus as that death count continues to climb. A lot of people here are concerned about that today, as well as the political uh, ramifications of what's going on here in North Carolina, one of the key states at Super Tuesday, just one day away. The early voting numbers are out. They're very good. Nearly 800,000 people have voted already in North Carolina. Still plenty more to go, and that's all happening, of course, tomorrow. We have much more of our coverage going on. Brandon Bates is out in the parking lot where the crowd is even bigger. They have been here since early, early this morning. Let's go to Brandon to get the latest on what's going on outside the arena. Yeah, Bill, some people have been here since last night, camping out in tents trying to get in to get a closer look at President Trump. Uh, as far as supporters outside, Bill, there's a lot. No shortage out here. Thousands of people out here. Some of them slept in those tents, like I said, to make sure they got in right when the doors opened. We spoke to supporters waiting in line who said there is nothing like a Trump rally as far as the energy is concerned. Listen to this. I came from High Point and uh, we got here hopefully maybe half hour ago or so. And uh, as you can see, we're still at the back end of the line. So we got a way to wait ways to go in. But I'm really impressed at how many people here showing up support, man. It makes me feel really good. He gets my support just because he does what he says he's going to do. And I think he's what we need for the next four years again. Now, this has become a recent routine for the president to rally in states the day before the presidential primary votes. Again, Super Tuesday coming up tomorrow. President Trump gets here at Bojangles Coliseum at 610. That rally again starts at 7 o'clock. We will have extensive coverage from outside as well as inside. For now, reporting live in Charlotte, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News. A lot happening in the political world. Brandon, thank you. And as mentioned, three Democratic presidential candidates have dropped out of the race within the past three days. Amy Klobuchar, Poo Pete Buttigieg, as well as Tom Steyer. Alice Barr explains how this will impact the rest of the candidates. Brianna and Talitha, the Biden campaign got off to a slow start with disappointing finishes in the first couple of races. But politics is all about momentum. And now a convincing victory in South Carolina is changing the picture heading into Super Tuesday. So get up and let's take back this Joe country. Biden riding a wave of momentum today, effectively seizing the party's moderate lane in a sharp turnaround, just a week after his candidacy seemed in danger of stalling. I am very much alive because of you. Former rivals Amy Klobuchar and Pete Buttigieg both dropping out of the race within 24 hours of each other. Klobuchar is set to endorse Biden tonight on the eve of Super Tuesday and Buttigieg speaking with him by phone. I will no longer seek to be the 2020 Democratic nominee for president, but I will do everything in my power to ensure that we have a new Democratic president come January. Buttigieg claimed a narrow victory in the Iowa caucus, but both he and Klobuchar failed to gain traction with the critical African-American vote. That group key to Biden's success in his resounding victory in South Carolina this weekend. We want every 
single solitary election district. Biden now hoping to keep the energy going through Super Tuesday tomorrow, when 14 states will vote, including some of the biggest like California and Texas. With hundreds of delegates at stake, the other candidates need to make a bold move to keep frontrunner Bernie Sanders from walking away with an insurmountable lead. There is a massive effort trying to stop Bernie Sanders. That's not a secret to anybody in this room. Elizabeth Warren is still fighting for a breakout moment, her home state of Massachusetts among those voting tomorrow. And it will be the first time Mike Bloomberg appears on the ballot, putting his millions of dollars in ad spending to the test on what could be the most decisive day of the 2020 primaries. About a third of all delegates are up for grabs tomorrow in just one day of voting, meaning we could have a much clearer picture of this race by the time polls close tomorrow night. In Washington, Alice Barr, WXII 12 News. A new High Point University poll shows Bernie Sanders and Michael Bloomberg in the lead in the North Carolina Democratic presidential primary. Sanders leads Bloomberg 31 percent to 18 percent among registered Democratic and unaffiliated voters who say they would participate in the Democratic primary. Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren also have double digit support. And just a reminder, the polls open statewide tomorrow morning at 630. They won't close until 730 that night. You can search for your polling place on North Carolina's State Board of Elections website in csbe.gov.